Welcome to our review on reversible reactions. First thing we actually need to know is what a reversible reaction actually is. And what we've normally looked at are irreversible reactions. So ones that only go in one direction. Reversible reactions, these are ones that have both a forward and backward reaction. So this means that where we formed some products through a chemical reaction, then those products can actually react together to form the original reactants once more. Key things to remember about this is the symbol there, the half arrow one way, half arrow the other way. That tells us it is a reversible reaction and always used to be a one mark favorite question to ask you what that symbol meant. So if you see it, reversible reaction is the answer. Just to show you an example of what this would look like. At the top, we actually have the overall reversible reaction. So we've got hydrated copper sulfate, which is then going to form copper sulfate and water. So it's the anhydrous version being formed. Now, because we've got that reversible reaction sign in the middle, it tells us that this can go in a forward reaction and a backwards reaction. They could ask you to write down the forward and backward reaction equations. So in that case, the forward reaction is the one that goes from the left to the right and just change that reversible arrow for a standard arrow. The backwards reaction is going from the right to the left. So you start by writing down the products, put your arrow in, and then you write down the original reactants. So just make sure you know which way's forward and which way's backward. When we're investigating these reversible reactions, we could use something called a closed system. So a closed system quite simply is some kind of a reaction vessel that prevents any substances from either entering or leaving. And the simplest one you could have encountered in school is a flask with a stopper in it. So it keeps everything inside and doesn't let anything else enter. If we carry a reversible reaction out inside a closed system, it will reach equilibrium. So that just means that the rate of our forward reaction and the rate of the backwards reaction are equal. So that the concentrations of all of the reacting substances will remain constant. However, we generally refer to this as a dynamic equilibrium because the forward and backward reactions still happen. So it's not a case of it reaches that certain point and everything stops. Those reactions are still going to be occurring. It's just that they're happening at the same rate. Therefore, the concentrations will remain constant. Hopefully at the end of the video, you can describe how some reactions are reversible. You can give an example of a reversible reaction and you can describe the conditions under which we get that dynamic equilibrium occurring. You should also be able to state what a closed system is and to recall the symbol for a reversible reaction.